it's your boy Young. You already know I'm back with another video. If you're new to the channel, all that shit you do is like, comment, subscribe, drop a comment down below and tell you boy what up. If you're old to the channel, you already know what it is, man. So yesterday, first load back after four weeks, guys. First load back after four freaking weeks, man. Yeah, it's been a minute. So we got a load of glass uh, from Covington to Charleston, South Carolina. We just touched down in Charleston, South Carolina to deliver this bad boy. Yup. They out there unloading me right now. Y'all know I'm gonna get it here safe and sound. Now, come on now. If your boy can get glass here safe and sound, you already know. So, uh, we will get unloaded out here. And I'm gonna wrap it up with y'all in a minute, man. Look like I'm across the, across the way from the port over there. And it don't look like no activity going on. But in a minute, guys. Uh, so, I'm back, man. I had to go out there and uh, make sure I unscrap. Um, yeah, why well, I'm a scrap salt so the fort lift can go ahead and take that glass off the trailer, man. But it's been a long, it's lo it's been a long four weeks, man. Um, as you know, we was having problems with the uh, boost pressure sensor in the truck. So guys, fingers crossed that we got that fixed, man. Cost me a little bit, but I think we finally figured out um, programming issue. So. They went in, I think the truck was in, I think they had a truck for like, maybe, i say a week and a couple of days, man, but I really just needed it, you know, that mental time, so I just went ahead and just took a lot of time off, uh, just to regroup, man, it's just been going through the process, going through the motions, man, going through life, man, y'all, y'all, y'all already know, so we back out here, this is our first load back out, like I said, we picked up in uh, Covenant, cover team and uh we bought it out here to uh north charleston south carolina it's a new plant they're building out here um so light load man light load twenty thousand pounds man a load of glass set right in the middle uh easy peasy man easy peasy so um couldn't be more happy with this load light load um the fuel i had in here got me all the way to south carolina to my one of my fuel stops um fuel up for like two Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see what I feel up for. I filled up for 295, man. 295. That's unheard of in Georgia. So, guys, I got me a couple. I got me few stops where I like to get few. I start my. I got me one in Georgia where I start my week out, uh, and I got me one in South Carolina where I fuel back up. You know what I mean? In the middle of the week, Thursday, to get me back home. So, I think. Watching how much you put in fuel will definitely help you out a lot, man. Save you on the back end. Um, because if you constantly put in fuel, man, you constantly dump your money in the fuel tank. So, with that being said, man, pick you some fuel stops where you got destination, uh, a de uh, destination where you stop and you get fuel. That's what I do. But, uh, this load, like I said, was easy, 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 man. Dropping it off like it's a bad habit early this morning first load back out after four weeks we'll just get back to it man i know it's gonna get cold and i don't know how that that, that uh i'm doing the winter time or uh, when it's cold but i'm gonna definitely be out here still trying to make it happen man so uh like i said first load back out i should meet with pops today um see what we got uh if i'm not i need to jump on the load board as i speak and uh try to find me something man if i could take one back to georgia drop it off tomorrow pick another glass up and bring it back up here and find me something going back to Georgia, that'll be my week, man. Like I tell y'all, man, four loads a week, $900 or better. Under 250 miles. Can't beat it, man. That's just how I run. You know, it don't always work out that way, but, you know, for the most part, I try to do what I do, man. So, I definitely appreciate everybody, you know, checking in, checking in with your boy on my time off, man. I see your comments. I try to my best to uh respond uh try my best to uh tap in with you man and let you know what's going on with me every chance i get but uh you know sometimes life just be life and man you know we just gotta fight through the trials and tribulations man but it's definitely been a time but we definitely we definitely will overcome it all we gotta do is keep going and never give up man so um let's let let's let them take this glass off and we'll see what we got next man
You know I like Debbie 900, but boy, that got y'all going Peterbilt. That's a nice truck, bro. That's a nice freaking truck right there. All right, so you two, man, I'm, I've been trying to find me a low all freaking day, man. I'm out here in, uh, I'm out here in Somerville. I dropped that load in Charleston, man. So I'm out here in Jetbird at, in Somerville, and uh, been looking for me a load. No luck, dog. Brokers, TQL, low balling. Now I would go back to Georgia. I would find me something to go back to Georgia, but I'm like, all right, I came out here. I don't got to go back to Georgia until Thursday, Thursday afternoon. So I can come to South Carolina. I can run me a North Carolina. I can come bring something back to North Carolina, South Carolina, pick something up from South Carolina, and go back to Georgia. That's how I would like to run. I don't. I, I try to cut out as much dead here as possible because I don't get paid for dead here. You see what I'm saying? But back hauls really don't play. Don't really, really don't pay. But man, it's really it's tough out here, man. A lot of these trucks I see just sitting. You know, one of the guys in the fuel I was talking to me about the port. Uh, how they, you know, shut down with the port, man. And uh, it's rough, man. It's rough. But these brokers, low balling, ain't no loads coming out. You know, I normally just sit here and be patient, man. And uh, eventually something will pop up. But today, man, it's been super. It been super tight out here, boy. It been super tight out here. Sucks, but it's a part of the game, man. It's a part of the game. You just gotta keep with them low boys. So I'm gonna truck stopping that back and forth, back and forth all day. Ain't nothing pop up that I want. I call. You know they want a low ball, and I, I ain't taking no low. I ain't taking no low. Uh, low paying freight. That's six hundred, seven hundred dollars, but they can keep that. I'm not moving my truck for that. Not going back to Georgia from South Carolina. Nine hundred or better, man. Nine hundred or better. That just that just me. I try to make a thousand dollars a day. I try to. Nine hundred dollars or better, man. It, it is what it is. Because if you if you run that if you run that freight for seven hundred, you'll never get you'll never be able to get more than that. Because you know what they could say you ran it for seven hundred before. Why why should we pay you you know a thousand dollars, eleven hundred dollars when you ran it for seven hundred? You see what I'm saying? So I ain't I ain't I ain't going for that. I'm not going for that, man. I think this guy over here trying to get out. Check him out. I think he trying to get out over there. This guy beside me, but. That, that truck part right there, so he tried to knock on the door and get him up. Yeah, see him knocking on the, see him knocking on it. Like, hey, I gotta move. I'm trying to get out. I gotta go. But uh, look at this. And people out here making excuses, bro. People really out here making excuses, man. This guy in a whole wheelchair, man. And people out here making excuses. This don't inspire you. I don't know what else will. He out here making it happen, dog. Making it freaking happen. And I look at that truck all night last night, and I'm like, bro, that door look crazy. And I kind of figured it was wheelchair accessible. But man, he out here making it happen, man. If that don't inspire you, I don't know what else will. But anyway, uh, this, was, this was just an update vlog of what's going on, man, with me and trucking. Trust me, a whole lot more going on with me, man. But shoot, man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm holding in the road, dog. I'm holding. Hey, truck been. Hey, fingers crossed. Truck been doing good. Boost pressure sensor been working. I've been idling for a minute. AC blowing cold. You know, I dropped me off a load this morning. Uh, I'm looking for me, me a low right now. I ain't got one. Might got to wait till tomorrow, but it is what it is. I got air in my body. I'm breathing. I feel healthy. I feel good. You know, I never rush anything because when you rush, things happen. You know what I'm saying? I want to take my time. I want to be comfortable. I want to be able to, you know, make it safe. Make it safely home. When you're rushing, when you're desperate for certain things, like I, I don't move like that, man. I'm a very calm, cool, calm, cool, collect guy. Calm, cool, collect guy. And I, you know, what I'm saying, I take pride in what I do. I take pride in my equipment, you know. And I stand for something, man. You know, stand for something, or you'll fall for anything. I stand for something. 
And that's just what it is with me, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up. It's the introduction back to the channel, man. I'm out here. I'm out here, man. Charles and South Carolina, all my all my people from the low country. I'm back out here, man. So if you see me, throw your hands up at me. I'm looking for me a low. If you got a couple brokers that got the book, got got it on the books, man, holla at me, man. If you're new to the channel, all that's that you do is like, comment, subscribe, drop a comment down below and tell your boy what up. If you're old to the channel, I'm out here hanging at the truck stop, man. Looking for a low. This your boy Young. You already know I'm signing out. Joe!